Hey folks, Fernando doing another video regarding Star Citizen and in this case the huge drama with yet more delays with 318. What's going on here guys? Why is this happening? How are things go uh, continuing from, from now on? Well, first of all, the channel is little by little growing over a hundred subscribers. It's amazing. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. You'll have the button there somewhere. Subscribe to the channel. Give it a, a thumbs up if you like the content that I'm creating here. And always use a referral code if you're new to Star Citizen and you're considering playing Star Citizen for the first time. Remember, if you use a referral code that you have there below, you get 5,000 extra, extra uh, credits of in-game money. And if you use it in one of the many special events, you may even get uh, a ship or some cool gear. So always use the referral when you start playing Star Citizen. Now, what's going on with 3.18? Well, first of all, it has been delayed yet again. Something that we are used to, for those that have been, have been playing Star Citizen for a while, we're used to these delays. Now, besides this delay, uh, what is it that we'll get eventually with 3.18? Well, not what we were promised, that's for sure. We were told that 3.18 would uh, bring uh, true persistence, when in fact now it's divided in these so-called shards, which is actually just per server. So the persistence is only in each server, which you will not be able to go back to. So for all practical purposes, no, there's nothing different. You will not have real persistence because there's really no way for you to go back to that given specific server. So in terms of gameplay, nothing new. In terms of technical progress, well, unless we have this uh, persistence uh, through all of the servers, there's really not much... Uh, technical achievement there either rather than what we're being told and that's the main problem all of these things that we're being told so very little that we actually see so in for example with with salvage salvage would have been one of these huge game mechanics that we were all hoping for and waiting for four years now well turns out that when we finally get it you won't be able to actually do many of the things that we were told we were we would be able such as for example you, you do salvage and then you sell that yeah that's nice but one of the cooler things was the ability to do salvage with a multi-tool and then repair your ship imagine having a beaten up ship after a fight you lost a wing then you go and you repair your ship using those same materials well no it's just gonna be repairing the light skin more of a cosmetic uh, change rather than anything else. Now, if you're not able to sh fix your ship for real, what's actually the point of that? All of this just goes to show that there's no progress. All of this just goes to show that money is not going to developing the game, guys, at least not in any visible manner. And I know this is one of the big topics that creates a lot of controversy uh, among the community. Oh, Fernando, you don't know what's going on behind... Yeah. You know what? I do know what's going on in terms of the business of Star Citizen, which is half a billion US dollars with minimal drop in a bucket progress per year. That's the only reality. And people that are thinking they're financing, yeah, you're buying ships, right? And you, oh, this money is going towards developing. No, it's going towards developing what? Squadron 42? I'm not seeing Squadron 42 here either, guys. So it's not going to Squadron 42. It's definitely not going into actual content for those of us playing this game. Where is that money going? Well, seems that it's going into capitalizing CIG itself with new um, offices and new uh, real estate being bought. But if you look at the actual content, what did we get throughout this year? What, refueling? No one ever uses that. It is non-existent in terms of gameplay. Who the hell has refueled anything all year long? I know I haven't done it even once. And if someone says you're doing that all the time, you're lying. No one is asking on the global chat, Hey, who, who can refuel my ship because I'm in this other distant system? There's only one system and you refuel wherever it is that you want. Or you just reclaim. Or if not, more often than not, you, you hit one of the frequent glitches or 30Ks. So all of that is really pointless. Guys, that's a big problem here. This is all a matter of wishful thinking, of hopes and dreams, but very little actual progress, very little actual content. We're not seeing enough content. 
and yet here you see it again. This thing just glitched on me while I was trying to do this after four or five glitches already. This is the only constant in Star Citizen. Progress? Nothing. Guys, as long as we keep reinforcing this mechanic of selling ships, having zero progress, we won't see anything different. We will see the same thing, nothing, all year long, ship sales, nothing, and more 30k. See you in our next one. Take care.